M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I thought I'd show you how to manual dial on these two radios. The right hand one is running the Open GD77 firmware and it works on the dual band model, so the MD380 UV, MD390 UV, it's VHF, UHF radio, this one. The left one is the older MD380 70 centimeter radio, single band. Uh, you could call it the RT3, this one would be called the RT3S. They both work great, and to be honest with you, most of the time I am on actually 70 centimeters. But if I go out and about, I do use two meters, so you know, different radios. But they, the radios are, are they look identical, so I'll just show you manual dial for just for reference. So if we push the hash here, then type in 3100, which is where we are, or any talk group, push the green button. You, you, have, you have now manually dialed. So if you key, you will go to that. And if I tie a, a, try a different number, there we go, hash. Now, if you wanted a private call, instead of saying talk group entry, you will just push it twice. So that's a private call. So you can directly call your friends or put a, a, a command in. But we're not doing private. You can select a contact that's in the radio. We're just going to go talk group entry. And let's say we want to disconnect. So we would go four zero 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 or if you wanted parrot now those two commands would actually be private but if we go for a talk group entry let's do 91 91 is very popular isn't it so we we'll do do that click the hash and now if we key while there's a gap and there is a gap we should switch to 91 so we're still on 3100 at the moment so that's how you do it on the open gd 77 now if we back out on the MD380. So you've got all the information there, and because of the updated firmware, you can now hold the whole database. It's called TYT Tools. So to manual dial on this radio, once it turns on, you just push the hash, go down to where it says Talk Group, select it, type the number. It says 91 at the moment. Go 3100, zero, zero, push green, like so. Then go down, and you want to choose if you're private or not. So the type up and down with the arrows, private. We want group call. Sorry about the reflection. Green button. And then you literally just, when there's a gap, key the mic and it will switch over. So that's how you manually dial on these radios and there's lots of extra features by using this firmware if we go menu menu like so push the up arrow go to utilities quicker that way go to utilities and then you want to go up again md380 so you're going up twice md380 tools and you get all this this menu that you wouldn't normally have so the Roger Beat, Boop Options, Date Format, Talk Group Display, Promiscuous Mode, Mic Bar, I'll show you that in a sec. Lots of functions about what you want to display and what you want to see. And Mic Bar wise, we just flick to a different one so no one can hear us. If I key, one, two, one, two, one, two, look, you get a Mic Bar, which is pretty cool. Now, I'll show you a cool thing about the RT3S running the OpenGD77. Watch this. It's actually got satellite mode. It's got hundreds of other features in there, like I'll show you the band scope. If we go into VFO, it is a dual band, but this is VHF and UHF. Look at that. You've got a band scope. How cool is that? This is what you can do with these bespoke firmwares. But anyway, watch this for satellite mode. Now we have turned on the GPS. So we go menu. Let's check that the GPS is on. All right, let me just turn that on a minute. Once you get into the menu, turn it on, and we'll go menu like so. We'll now go to satellite. Let's just check the GPS is on, so it's try it's acquiring, but you'll get blue bars. Satellite mode, this radio, you can import all the satellite data with two clicks using your, your software, okay? So let's click satellite, and it's now going to use all the information that we've put into the radio plus our location and the time and it does add the time and it's telling me that at 10 o'clock 
there's going to be a satellite called AO92. Now, apparently, I've been told that the SO50 is a really good one to receive. Now, you do need the correct antenna and you need the, ang the angle of your antenna and all that kind of stuff to be at the right angle to hear other stations talking through that satellite. But let's just say we do want to talk to that one. You just select the green button. And look, it's showing where it is. If you go down again, you get information about the satellite there, the time, ETC. Angle of elevation, 12. Is then I think the 9.08 seconds is how long it's going to pass by. You've got pass here, one out of seven. But if I push down again, look at that. It puts in all the frequencies that you're going to need. And you can obviously use this radio or another radio. You can use this as almost like a tracker. And when you key, it actually adjusts the frequency. Look, it's adjusting it now live. Doppler shift, all that kind of stuff. And, and you can have a content. And I know this works because I've used it, although I didn't actually speak through it because... I, I, I wasn't, I basically didn't get to the satellite myself, but I could hear everyone else trying to connect to it. So that's cool. So there you are. I thought I'd show you the difference between these two radios. Really more about manual dial than anything else. But hey, how good is that? If you've got these in your cupboard, uh, obviously take, there's a risk with any firmware upgrade. If you've got these in your cupboard, I mean, the screen's quite dim here because I've dimmed it down for the camera. But if you've got these in your cupboard, dig them out, get them working. Follow the steps very carefully, step by step, and your radio, which you thought was not an Anytone 878 or these new advanced DMR radios, these radios can actually, in some cases, do more. The 7.3, thanks for watching. Catch you on now. All the best.